If you have an unlimited budget, then it's pretty easy to find a fantastic boot. But what about those of us who want exceptional quality without spending a small fortune? There are a lot of brands that claim to have rugged and high quality boots for cheap, but they just don't deliver. After doing over a hundred reviews, I found some truly exceptional boots that cost less than $200. And these boots aren't gonna fall apart on you in a year. You're gonna get your money's worth out of these and look good at the same time. The Thursday Captain is one of the best value for money boots ever. Even though I have boots that cost three times as much as the Captain, I still find myself wearing them often. Made with a Goodyear well construction, a huge variety of stylish and rugged leathers, and a few options for either a studded or a lug sole, the Thursday Captain offers that perfect blend of traditional heritage boot making methods and more modern materials for comfort. My personal favorite Captain is the Arizona Adobe Rugged and Resilient Leather, but I've also been rocking the tobacco leather with the Storm King Heavy Lug Outsole. You're getting two millimeters of full grain leather for the upper, plus one millimeter glove leather on the lining. There's a steel shank for support and a steel stacked leather heel, at least on the rubber studded version. Plus, when the sole eventually wears down after several years, you can always have a new one attached. And if you want to check out what that looks like, you can hit that video popping up right above now. But basically, you can't really find too many boots that cost less than $200 that are this good. If you're all about leather quality and still want to keep things budget friendly, then definitely check out the Beckett Simonon Elliott. Now, I have a confession for this boot. It actually costs a little more than $200, but I have a special code for you that knocks the price down to just below $200 so I feel like it counts. Beckett Simonon is another one of my favorite brands because the quality is outstanding in general and it's even more impressive when you find out the price. There is a big downside to ordering with Beckett Simonon though. They handcraft all their boots and shoes to order so you should expect to wait anywhere between 8 and 12 weeks to get your new boots. Now part of that reason is how Beckett Simonon is able to make such high quality boots right around the $200 mark. Most brands have to make huge inventory purchases and mark up a lot of their costs so that they can cover all the different sizes, the different leather options, and all that stuff that doesn't sell as well. But because Beckett Simonon only manufactures what they sell and they don't need to pay for all that extra inventory, they actually are able to ship boots that look and feel more like a $300 brand. Palladium boots were originally made for the French Foreign Legion and since picking up two of their most popular models, Models, I'm convinced that these are the best boots you can get for under $100. I have their Pampa and Palabrus. I have to be honest, there's basically no difference between those two boots, but I know I like the color of my Pampa boots better, so they're gonna make this list. Gotta say, these are canvas boots, not leather, that's part of why they're a lot cheaper, but Palladium specialty is really in their mold injected rubber sole. The Palladium Pampa has a heavy rubber lug sole with a rubber toe cap. They sort of look like if a Converse sneaker went Super Saiyan. While I don't think canvas is a great option through fall and winter, my Palladiums were awesome Awesome throughout the summer. Plus, I really like the streetwear aesthetic they have while still offering tons of comfort and stability. If you want comfort, your best option is a crepe rubber sole. Now, crepe rubber has its drawbacks. It can get dirty and wear down really quickly, but Dang, it does feel great on your feet. The Astorflex Greenflex Chucka is a fantastic desert boot for under $200. And it's my top pick if you want a comfortable casual boot to wear to the office. For style, I think the Thursday Scout is more sleek looking, plus I know the rubber outsole and stacked leather heel are gonna just look a lot cleaner three months down the road. But from a pure comfort perspective, it doesn't get better than the Astorflex Greenflex. There's not a lot of sizing or color options with this boot, so you're pretty limited on that front. But compared to the Clark's Desert Boot, the Astorflex Greenflex is in a totally different league. Have you ever heard of a zero drop boot? Zero drop basically means that the heel and the forefoot are at the same exact height, which is supposed to mimic how our feet naturally evolve. If you stand on your feet a lot and struggle with knee or back pain, or if you travel a lot and need a zero drop pair of boots, you can just put miles and miles in, then definitely check out the Lems Boulder Boot. It has a mock toe construction and you can either get a leather upper, a nylon upper, or Lems even offers a leather version that is completely waterproof and it has a waterproof membrane. The Boulder Boot doesn't have many of the same features as the other boots on this list, and that's because they're designed to interfere with the natural shape of your foot as little as possible. The toe box is wide, so your toes are scrunched and there's a minimal amount of materials in the heel to keep that height equal to the forefoot. Lem's boulder boots are some of the most lightweight and flexible boots you can get, especially for leather boots. A lot of the boots on this list are basically right at $200, which makes sense. You're probably going to find higher quality at $200 than you would with $100. But if you want a leather service boot but want to stay closer to that $100 mark, then definitely check out the Golden Fox Boondocker. The Boondocker is made with a Goodyear weld construction, a full grain upper, and a steel shank. I'm not going to lie, this is not 
not a perfect boot, far from it. The Goodyear welt is plastic, it's unlined, and the crepe rubber on the sole leaves a lot to be desired. Personally, I think you'd get a much better value for your money if you paid a bit extra for the Thursday Captain, but still, for close to $100, the Golden Fox Boondocker is one of the best or one of the better boots you can find under $150, I'd say. The Timberland 6-inch Premium Waterproof Boot is one of the most iconic boots of all time, and it's a pretty fantastic value for money boot too, so no wonder it has a good reputation. While a lot of guys like Timberlands for style, it's important to remember that they got their start as work boots for a really good reason. They're 100% waterproof, the new buck leather is rugged, and they're insulated so they can keep your feet warm through a cold and wet winter. I've tried both the Timberland Basic and Premium, so trust me when I say that the Premium is the only way to go. You get a much higher quality sole, which will last you a lot longer than the Basic. There are tons of different leather color options for the Timberland, but if you want my opinion, the classic Wheat New Buck is the only way to go. The New Republic Sonoma is a suede Chelsea boot that costs under $100. And there are a few things about this boot that really surprised me. In terms of leather quality, you're almost never gonna find anything good under the $100 mark. But the New Republic Sonoma has decent leather. To be honest, it's still pretty low quality, bang. But the suede is a lot better than anything else I've ever seen at that same price. The Sonoma is basically a common projects Chelsea knockoff. And while I almost never think a dupe is worth it, the Sonoma is. The New Republic Sonoma features a crepe sole, which will get dirty over time. The same is true for the common projects Chelsea and having a dirty looking $500 boot though. To me, in my opinion, it's like a lot worse than having a dirty looking $89 boot, which is why I like the New Republic Sonoma so much. Like I said, when you're below $100, there aren't many good quality leather boots. The Palladiums are, are good quality, but they use a canvas upper, uh, not leather. The New Republic Sonoma is the one leather boot I'd recommend that's under $100. Again, my favorite boots under $200 are the Thursday Captains. They're the first boot that got me into the world of high quality Goodyear welted footwear, and they're still one of the best value picks you can get. And Beckett Simonon is another brand that really blows me away with the quality of their leather. But you do have to be patient for their eight to 12 week wait time. No matter what you need your boots for, there's at least one good option under $200. Now, if you wanna see what my favorite boots are right now, then definitely check out that video popping up right Right there. Also hit the subscribe button, give me a thumbs up if you found this video helpful. I'll see you in the next video, and until then, put your best boot forward.